Hey, we're live. We are plant-based in the burbs here on Unchained TV. Coming to you live, Sherry, Cherie, and Paige Parsons Rose right here. What are you making there, Sherry? You know what? I have no idea. No, I'm just kidding. Oops, hold up, hold up. Oh, I don't want you know I am making a to to to. I'm making a creamy tahini tofu bowl. So basically the main star is the, to, uh, the tofu, and then you can put whatever grains that you like with it, whatever veggies, I'm just gonna use what I have in my kitchen. So it's just no fuss, super easy. And so I'm gonna get into it. What about you? Well, I'll tell you what, I have got here what's called pumfu. My friend uh, Pamela told me about this and it's made with pumpkin seeds. It's like a tofu consistency. I'm going to get this open right now so y'all can see made with tofu. The ingredients are two ingredients, tofu and water. And they, when you go on and you look up what you can make with this, it's amazing the different recipes. I'm actually going to make a delicious wrap. So look, it's just like tofu. Oh, wow. Right? So it's a, cool. little bit, yeah. a little bit I drain, but not much. You don't even have to press it. It's pressed. So my friend eats it right like this. She just literally cuts it up. Oh, look what you got going there. So again, this is pumpkin. If you haven't heard of it yet, it is pumpkin seeds. It, I can't wait to try that. I haven't tried it yet. I know exactly, Tom. What? So I'm going to put it in a pan and I'm going to make wraps with, um, okay. yeah, with tortillas. So, okay, let's okay. go to you because I think you're ready to roll. Well, I'm ready to rock and roll. Okay. Happy to have you here, everybody. Okay, ready, 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 welcome. Hey, everybody, welcome, welcome into our kitchen again. You know, I am going to press the tofu, so I'm just going to show you my cute little press I got on Amazon, and I did this earlier, like 30 minutes uh, beforehand, just so I can get some of the excess water out. This is a really, really simple uh, a recipe. So we're going to take the tofu out. We're going to cut it into squares. So you know, you're just going to cut it. I mean, I'm just cooking for my husband and I, so I can make some pretty big chunks here. So that way we can get all that nice tahini. So I'm just gonna make these big squares, but if you have more people in the household, you can actually make these one inch by one inch squares. We're just gonna make some good, nice chunky ones here. And what I'm gonna do with that is I already have my pan prepared. We're gonna bake this in the oven. So this is super, super simple, right? We're just gonna put it in here. I am, of course, I'm going to season my tofu. I have to have some spices going on in here. Um, so what we're going to season this tofu with will be some garlic, uh, garlic, a little bit of obey, and then I'm going to spray it with some avocado oil, put it in the oven, and let it cook for 20 minutes. So let me just show you how I'm doing that. I've got my obey right here. So obey, do it this way, either way. And we're going to just shake some obey on it. That's cut. I'm just doing it really nice and easy. Just make sure all the tofu is nicely covered. And then, oh, where is my garlic? And then I also have this roasted garlic. This is the kind of new thing I'm using. Really like it. Um, and so I'm just going to sprinkle that on too. Now you can do both sides, you know, just make sure you do both sides if you want. You know, you're just turn it over. You have some loose spices already on the uh, sheet so just turn them over make sure you have them evenly covered and then what i'm going to do is spray them with my i have avocado oil so let me just get this all together here flip it over because i want it to be really nice and tasty and so we're going to just shake it up again a little more of the obey which i don't think is coming out there we go and then we're going to add the garlic boom 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 like that spray it Boom, oil, there you go. Boom, bam, put it right in the oven. We're gonna let that cook for 20 minutes. So what I did was I went on and prepared some ahead of time because I wanted you to see what the recipe looks like. And plus I've never made it either. So let's go into what I'm gonna to add to this bowl. Oh, wow, I have oil everywhere all on my computer. Let me just get that off real quick. All right, so I'm going to add into my skillet. We're gonna get that started. I'm going to add some mushrooms because that's what I want to go on the side of my bowl. We're going to do a grain, a mushroom, some raw cabbage, some edamame, and some avocado. So that's what our bowl is going to be dressed up around our tofu. 
and I think I said rice. So we have some rice. So I had already started cooking. Uh, let's see. Let me get this thing moving here. Moving. Hey, Sherry. Well, are yeah. you doing well? I want to show everybody I cut the pumfu, which is the pumpkin like tofu consistency into squares. I'm marinating this a little bit. I just want to show you because those are the squares. I'm marinating it in coconut aminos. Okay. Right. You can use these. You can use brag. You can use soy. You can use gluten-free soy. Also a toasted sesame. Now this is all going to go into my wrap. Yes. So, oh yeah, there we go. I love this toasted sesame oil. And then I did a tiny bit of pepper because I just like pepper and a tiny bit of garlic salt. Now in my pan that's heating up over there is some veggie broth. So we got some veggie broth in the bottom of the pan. That's what I'm going to put in here. But first I'm going to add some onions and some red pepper, which I chopped up. Now you saw me come out here with the purple cabbage. That's actually going to be rolled up in there, but I did kind of put it all on here together. So um, I just wanted to show you, that's what we're doing. We're doing a wrap. You can wrap yourself over there. Go ahead. Okay, so you know what? I need to step away for a second because oh, okay. I don't have something I need. So if you have something else you want to discuss. Yeah, for well, sure. Okay, you guys, I just want to tell you something really quickly. Pum Fu, like I said, is this pumpkin. Now, let's get in the mood with pumpkin, right? Um, we are pumpkin seeds. You can take pumpkin seeds, scoop out the guts of the pumpkin, get those pumpkin seeds, roast them up. They're super nutritious. The other thing about this is high in protein. I'm just going to tell you, my friend was telling me about this. I looked it up. It's got a lot, 17 grams of protein right there, no soy. So anyway, there you go. Oh my goodness. We don't want to burn my pan. Back to you, Sherry. All right. So look, I just now went on. I wanted to, um, let me turn this down. I wanted to cook some mushrooms to go on this on my bowl because I, I because that's what I want to do. So what I did was I added sesame seed oil in the uh, skillet and a little bit of that garlic um, powder. We're going to add also a little bit of earth balance in there. I just want to put a little bit of that for a little, you know, nice little flavor. So we're just going to add a little bit of the earth balance in there. Come on, do it for me, baby. Do it. And... Uh, we're just going to kind of mix this up. We're just going to let this saute. Now, I already had prepared some beforehand. So once these get to my liking, I'm going to add the other ones right in. So we'll have a lot more um, mushrooms to put on my bowl. I hope all of you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for joining us in the kitchen again. I just really appreciate the support. And Paige, I really want to have to, I really want to try this uh Kung Fu and whatever tofu I want to try it. I've seen it in the stores, uh, but you know, sometimes when you see things, you think, oh, I don't know, should I try it or not? So, but you know, I guess you have to be adventurous. Well, you know, you have a choice, but I will tell you, because my friend was with me and told me it was good, I'm trusting her. Now, I just tasted one of these marinated, marinated squares. This is already cooked, so you can eat it right out of the package. She right. eats it just like this. She puts it in her salad like this. So instead of maybe another protein source that you would go with that's an animal product, go for the pump food. I mean, pumpkin seeds are just so nutritious. Hey, They're there are good for you. friends here I just want to shout out to. Oh, John. Really? Welcome, John. And, of course, Tom. Ooh, he says add some liquid smoke. Good idea. Yeah, um, that's so Right. Oh my God, Tom. Yes, everybody was pum fu fighting. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that song, Tom? I do definitely. <laughs> I love it. It's it pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, I don't want to burn. I'll be back in a bit. All right. All right. So, look, let me just show you what I, I did. I just went on to add the other um, mushrooms that I already had cooked prepared before because i wanted to you know kind of have the dish done so that you could see the end results right and so we're going to go ahead and let that uh saute just a little bit more i did do the tofu already so i i would like to heat it up just a little bit so that um you know it's not cold so we're probably i'll probably do that one page gets back because i do need another little uh, pan to put that in yeah, and so yeah. we're just going to go ahead and saute this up. Okay. 
so I just wanted to remind everybody that it, you know, I'm really working with a veggie broth idea going forward, um, but oil is great too. So, you know, just a little bit here and there and you want to get high heat. So I just bought this veggie broth. Again, I'm trying to remember to make my own with the food scraps. Doesn't always happen, but I did stick them in the freezer. You can take your food scraps, like your onion peels and the ends of your carrots and stuff like that. Just rinse them out and make your own broth. But anyway, this was at the bottom of the pan and it's hot and ready to go. I put, like I said, just a little bit of red pepper and some onions. And now I'm going to add my pum fu. Pum fu. Go get it. What? Yeah, it's just like tofu but it's not made from soy so uh you know anyway i'm gonna add that in and get this cooking and i'll be back in just a jiff y'all over to you okay all righty okay so i think i need to go ahead and start the sauce i think that's the most important thing that we need to put on the tofu so let me pull out my cheat sheet and let's see where we're starting all right so we're going to start with um i have one fourth cup of tahini so i had already put it in uh measured it out so that we can get this tahini is sesame seeds very very nutritious it's a great way to swap out like peanut butter or any other type of butter so we're just going to go ahead and add that into our container into our bowl so we're going to do that we can get the sauce already make sure i don't burn things here let's turn that off um so we're going to get that done and put that over to the side. And then also it calls for two teaspoons of, oops, why am I wrong? Two teaspoons of soy sauce. Boy, I'll tell you what, all these kind of crazy things happen in the kitchen. Okay, all kinds of things happen in the kitchen. But I just want to say, Debbie says, have you tried chickpea tofu? I have oh. not. That sounds amazing. Let's do it. Thank you, Debbie. Harry wants to say thank you so much for having, helping create a more delicious and healthy world. Oh, oh my gosh, wow. Harry. Thanks for joining us. Right? Thanks for joining us tonight. Yeah, I appreciate it, Harry. Harry, I appreciate that. So my stuff's warming up over there. I'm just going to give a little shout out to Unchained TV. You can find our shows. You can scan that barcode right there and get the app. And download it now on streaming services. Yes, Apple TV and Roku Fire Stick. Lots of ways. We put it already in there in the chat. So, but guess what? You can download it on your phone. So we have four in-studio shows there. Um, we have a couple like this, but I will tell you the in-studio ones are like seven minutes long and they're so much fun. You get great recipes. And you can find those recipes on the website at unchainedtv.com. Yes, Tom, exactly. So um, I, again, do not want to burn, but let me just say, so now I, what I did in the meantime, I want to give a little shout out to leftovers. Okay, so oh, last, yeah. last night I made a salad. When I was younger, we used to make salad, pour the dressing on it, chuck out the rest. No. So I learned early on, don't do that. Just don't dress it yet. So this is, you know, you could consider it naked salad. Doesn't have dressing on it. It's ready to go for the next day. So I'll eat it usually the next day, do something else with it, right? So now this is going to go in my wrap. There's nothing on here. It's just tomatoes and lettuce. So it's ready to go. Also wow. in, my, in my wrap will go some purple cabbage. Now you want to think about eating the rainbow in life. So you want to add colors to your plate. So you want to get kind of a little creative when it comes to maybe some vegetables and fruits that you haven't necessarily uh, engaged in before. You know, give it a go. Give it a try. Try something new. So there you have that. Those are all going into my wrap now. Um, okay, we're sizzling over there. Let me okay. say, you know, organic flour tortillas are great. I um, just bought these. I'm really excited about it. I love this brand. But the cassava flour is a indigenous flour that um, these are really soft. I like to try new things. One of my definite go-to favorites are the almond flour tortillas. Wow. Okay. But you know, you can go with just your basic. I do recommend getting organic. You can go with corn or wheat or however you want to go with that. Over to you, Sherry, while I make sure I'm not burning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So look, I what I did was I took the tofu that I already baked. I just put it in the skillet. I just want to heat it up to get it a little warm. We're going to add some cabbage, uh, red cabbage to the bowl. Let me get the bowl. We have rice. 
Um, I didn't bring my rice over near me, so we have to get that in a minute when my co-host uh, comes back. But hey, tell me what your favorite dish is. What is like the easiest dish that you made that is just so good you can eat it all the time? Put that in the chat so we'll know, like, what is your favorite dish, super quick, super easy, that you can eat it all day long, any time of the day? Anytime, all day long. Yum, yum, yum. So I caught it just in, in time. You don't want to let it stick. You want to keep it moving in the pan, but you can let it sit, just not stick, right? Because the sticking will then make it burn. But these are, this is ready to go. How easy was that? Now, the other thing you can do with this is make a stir fry. So, I mean, this literally can oh, be yeah. rice, right? But because yes. I'm making, you know, I just decided to go with this wrap idea. Um, and, you know, there's a little bit of sauce at the bottom. This is so ready to roll and ready to be That's rolled. Good. That's great. So All right. right. So, look, I got a, I got a skedaddle over to my cabinet because I thought I was prepared. I thought I had everything, but I'm missing two items. You know, so things happen. Go for it. You know we'll how it goes. Yeah, head on over. No big deal. So um, again, y'all, we're going to get going with this now. The funny thing is, so all right. So right in the chat. Now, let me ask you something else, y'all. I'm going to ask you, what is your favorite fall or winter vegetable or fruit? Oh, yeah. Put it in the chat. Let us hear what are your favorites now the other thing i really want to know from people is are you growing anything of your own nice yeah up in the kitchen so yeah. i have some basil growing and i love the idea of more herbs uh in my window box i have basil um what are you all growing i grow tomatoes those are pretty easy to grow peppers also um cucumbers in certain climates right yeah. Pumpkins, you could do pumpkins. Oh, squash. Are you growing those, Tom? I want to oh, see what you're growing. Grow some squash. Let me know. Let us know what you're actually growing and how's it going. Because, you know, here's the thing we were with EA Bako, and she reminded us how yeah. important it is that we have our own food growing. So we have some food sovereignty. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, we also talked about when a hunter's very first the launch of the vegan food bank in los angeles the first of its kind in los angeles yes. and um, food worthiness is a human right so food is a human good food be able to eat and access good food is a human right so sherry back to you on this hand down and here, girlfriend i am putting it together okay how are you guys i'm putting it together i want you guys to see what i'm doing up in here so um I'm just going to take all of my tofu. So this is the mix. So in the mix is um, tahini, soy sauce, rice vinegar. I think I put that in there. Rice vinegar. Instead of maple syrup, I use date syrup to swap that out. Um, let's see. What else did we have in there? Uh, sriracha. Um, and let's see. Did I put the rice vinegar in there? I want to make sure. And that's it. A little bit of water and uh, garlic powder. Right. And I'm just going to take our tofu and just put it right into the mix. So I didn't have the right utensil. Here we go. So I'm just going to add the tofu into the mix and we're just going to mix it all up. Now you, you can do it either way. You can take it and put it on your bowl and then take the, the mix and just drizzle it all over the whole, everything on your plate. But I like to have it really like saturated with the sauce because I think that just gives it a lot more flavor. So this is kind of what it looks like now. So that's the tofu that we just cooked. And this is the tahini uh, sauce is going on top. So we're just going to add that right into the bowl. I'm not going to put too much in here. Just a little bit because I got a lot of little other things I want to throw in there. And so then we're going to cut up a nice avocado. We're going to slice that up and put that in also in our dish. And then we're going to add a little bit of red cabbage. It's like Paige said before, you do want to try to eat the rainbow if you can, because then that way you can get most of your nutrition that way. <clears throat> and so if you can do that, then you should. And also the avocado gives you that nice, healthy fat that you need in your diet, especially if you're plant-based or any, any, any diet that you, you know, eat but you know avocado is really great for essential fats we're going to add a little bit of our mush we got our mushrooms 
add a little bit of this red cabbage and just gonna Ooh. put some in here just on the side right not too far from my mushrooms and i think i'm still missing something dang it i hate that <laughs> Terry. you know what happens to the best of us here's the sc <laughs> yeah okay well we'll come back we'll come back so check this out y'all i added the lettuce i added it's all going in here i did warm this up slightly on top of the burner you can put it in a pan or just stick it right to the burner i'm really all about lately just minimal dishes I'm doing a lot of different cooking now. And so this is just kind of fun to, um, you know, keep it really, really simple. Oh, my gosh. Autumn joined us. Let's add her in. Hello, Autumn. Let's see. Um, Autumn says, any kind of squash is your fall favorite veggie. I love that. And let's see. Um, we also have, she likes uh, a veggie stir fry with tofu. So yum. Yes. Ooh, Debbie's got something to say here. Let's add oh, Sherry back yeah. in. Let's see. Uh, uh, yeah. I make stuff, uh, just egg squares. Wow. Mm. I put mushrooms and green onions, I guess that's in it, or greens and some vegan cheese and folded. That sounds delicious. Yes. That's good. V squash. Yeah. I love acorn. It's like my new thing. I just love an acorn squash. They're so good and sweet. Oh, yeah. Red beans and rice are the on point, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> very much so and yes download the app and did you go to farmer's market this week did you sherry i have i've been going every saturday morning and i'm juicing every saturday morning wow and, and now i am addicted i have to tell you that so well shout out to angela with vegan pop eats right she's got us yeah, oh yeah that's right she's doing a 30-day juice uh, I don't know if it's a fast, but it's part of a 30. She's incorporating that into her lifestyle and into her diet. And yeah. yeah, look, it's a great way for you to get as many vegetables as possible. And and some of the vegetables add, are very sweet naturally. So you don't really have to add any added sugar. If you add a carrot, if you add an apple, if you add a pears, you know, are really going on right now. Pomegranates are really great to juice. Believe it or not, you can juice those. So, I mean, it's just really... Um, Wonderful. I'm excited about it. I can't wait to Saturday so I can say, oh, I've already planned what juice I want to make and I'm going to go. Boom, 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 Tom. That's right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, guess what, y'all? We're really excited about something. We are headed out to a grand opening. Well, it's a soft opening yes. of a new vegan restaurant locally in Sherman Oaks. So we're kind of eating and running, actually. But we really wanted to show how simple this is, Sherry. That looks beautiful. I'm giving you full screen. Okay. All right, so look, I, I just want to give you a little uh, look at this plate, if I can, right here, this bowl. So we have the sautéed mushrooms. We have the tahini tofu that we just made, our avocados. We have cabbage. We have some edamame. And very down on the bottom is our brown uh, jasmine rice. So that way, when you're ready to get in, you can just kind of mix all that together and get all those flavors playing in your mouth. It's just going to be amazing so that's what i got and so i do want to taste this tofu because i'm curious you know what i want to taste mine too so <clears throat> let's go in so again this is the pum foo it's not tofu y'all it's pumpkin seeds that's been squished into Good. a block and it's no soy it's 17 grams of protein literally the ingredients are two ingredients pumpkin and water so i just want to give a huge shout out to pumpkin seeds because you can roast your pumpkin seeds after like you made a jack-o'-lantern. Just get those going. Put them on your put them on your salads. Add them to a stir fry. So scrumptious pumpkin seeds. And this is pumpkin. So how's it taste, Sherry Sharice? It's really, really good. I, I, I like it. I mean, I haven't really ate the tahini like this, but it's good. I like it. It's different. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, because I have to remember I was cooking tofu in here. I'm just going to turn it over and cook it again so we'll have enough tofu. I can put it on my salad tomorrow. Right. And what about Charlie? Is Charlie going to have some tonight? He's going to have some of this tonight. Of course. Of course he is. And Donnie's going to have some of this. And some mushrooms are my favorite mm -hmm. to grow. Those are, those are good too. Mm -hmm. Debbie, I'm going to have to reach out to you and see how you're growing them. Yeah. It's good. Easy. And easy. Well, 
we just want to thank you all so much for your support. I mean, it means the it world really does. you come on here and you watch with us. We also are doing some fun stuff over on Instagram. You can follow us, our names. Um, you can find us on Plant Based on the Verbs. We're doing different things over there. And head on over to the, you know, streaming app and, and watch the fun little shows Jane was filming and, and Donna edited. There's even oh, some yeah. bloopers. There's some bloopers in there. Yeah, um, <laughs> Oh, Tom, happy birthday, Taffy. Yes, it's our dog's 10 year. Adopt, don't shop. She is such, so cute. And uh, her name's Taffy. We love her so much. And um, so let's eat, shall we? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we love y'all. Thanks so much. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Peace and blessings. Peace and plants.